How does an American director end up in New Zealand? I was the creative director for a tequila brand um, in my mid to late 20s. And uh, I had been working with the team that designed the bottle and designed the logo and the branding and the identity um, and had done beautiful work, just, uh, just extraordinary work. And this was a design uh, agency in New Zealand. I became very close with a guy named Dave Quinlan and um, we became buddies. He became like my Kiwi friend. We would Skype and, you know, we would talk in meetings between agencies, but then we would like see how each other's families are doing and so forth. And um, I had made, I left that agency uh, and his design firm still had the account. And I came to, to LA and I was working in LA and I was shooting commercials in LA. Um, I was, I was writing a lot here and, um, I wasn't feeling the town. The town's vibe was not my jam. And it was like, um, uh, I think it was kind of like, it was not anything harsh. You know, people have said really harsh things about LA or not digging it. But like, for me, it was sort of, I went to a restaurant or I went to a film or I went to a concert. And in my mind, I was going to go to this one kind of restaurant or this one kind of concert or this one kind of film. And then when I got to LA, the experience was different. It was, I'm not talking about restaurants, I'm talking about metaphors where it's like, I heard, like it was not the same vibe I thought it was gonna be. It just wasn't, it just wasn't clicking. It, you know, I met some great people here. I still have those friends are still friends today. Um, but the town itself, the, the energy of the town, without it being woo, sounding woo woo, it's like, it just wasn't like filling my soul and I also came from, like I've talked about with photographer, advertising agency, et cetera. I had come from an environment where I had reached out to mentors. I had reached out to people way better at what I wanted to do than, than I was at the, the stage I was at. And I didn't find any of that in LA. I found a sense of, I found a sense of um, uh, unimportance. I found a sense of, I'm one of a million who wants to fulfill a dream and it was never, it's not a dream. People say that to me. Oh, you fulfilled your dream. And I'm like, it's just work. It's just building the next, you know, bigger project. It's not like I'm sitting around rubbing a lamp, right? And waiting for a dream to come true. So when I was in LA, I, I expressed that to my friends in New Zealand. And I said, man, this town is not my jam. <laughs> you know, it's not. And, and I was working with some really creative people, doing some great work. But you know, there's a, when you make, films or commercials, like it's family. It's really a tight group of people. And I just wasn't finding my rhythm. Like they had found their rhythm, right? They had found the neighborhood they wanted to live in. They had found um, the place they were gonna send their kids to school. They had found their roots. Um, I didn't find that um, in Los Angeles when I came here and lived here and worked here. I was fortunate to work here. I know a lot of people who come here and nothing happens. So that was wonderful. But my connection with New Zealand stayed true and robust. And so that firm um, invited me down to work on the tequila account and to just sort of hang out in New Zealand. And I, 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 shot, a, I shot a couple of projects that were right up until I was gonna fly out. I remember leaving the set over in the mountains. I was on the set in the mountains at this waterfall and I left, got in my car and drove to LAX and flew to New Zealand. And, uh, uh, which is a very LA moment. You're like, I just got a set and I'm going to plane. Such a big deal. Um, and got off the plane and fell in love with the landscape driving from Auckland airport into Auckland city. Um, went into the city. It felt, it felt a little bit parallel to the waterfront of Seattle, which was home. It felt, it was so clean and beautiful. Um, and, uh, I, I went in May, which is essentially their fall, you know, um, sort of their like October, November weather. Um, and I stayed there for three weeks. And by the end of three weeks, we went from all sort of hanging out as buddies, um, to, we had a business plan, a business model, an agency we were going to run and a name and all of that. And I left and came back here and sort of put some of the stuff I was doing here on hold. Um, and then for about a year, I started going, doing, <laughs> I started commuting 
from New Zealand to us to from New Zealand to Los Angeles. So I would go down to New Zealand for like eight weeks, eight or ten weeks, and then I would come back to Los Angeles. Uh, we were shooting work in LA. We were shooting work in Austin, um, a little bit in New York, um, and we had clients all over the place. And um, that opportunity in New Zealand started to gain momentum with the fact that um, the relationships that I couldn't really build very tightly in Los Angeles, just due to not having the vibe, um, I started to build in New Zealand. You know, like I built a really great relationship with the camera house there. I built a really great relationship with a series of producers. Um, some of the production companies there are far more accessible than they are in Los Angeles, you know, like to talk to a studio head here, you gotta like kill six people and you still might not get a meeting. Um, I'm joking about that. Uh, but in New Zealand, you like send the guy an email or the gal an email and you say, I'm this person, this is my work, I'd like to meet. Uh, and they would be like, all right, cool. Because it's a smaller community and they're not used to people only coming and asking for things. They're used to people coming and saying, oh yeah, mate, let's go go to the pub and get a beer. So I started to really understand the film industry. From, I met with people at Village Roadshow. I met with people at Weta. I, I started to really understand the film industry, not from a Hollywood perspective, but from that perspective, which is the same because they made the same product that was going into Hollywood and being sold. They had deals with studios, right? And uh, Universal's big down there. Um, and uh, so, so New Zealand turned into a big, robust advertising factory of creative as well. So as the chief creative officer of that agency, I wrote and directed every commercial we did. So it was, it was again, this, um, it was a craftsman opportunity. More than, I didn't want to just leave LA. That wasn't the point. The point was, I'm going to go and shoot a ton of ads. I'm going to work a lot and I'm going to, develop my craft more. And also, um, uh, I wrote five feature scripts when I was there in about, uh, in just under three years, you know? So it was, a, it was an opportunity to just like get in the zone. So yeah, that's how an American ended up in New Zealand. And it was, it was extraordinary. It changed my life forever.